Well, good morning, everybody. It's the 19th of December today, Sunday morning. Yeah, good, right? Because that means there's only 11 days till Christmas, if my maths are yeah. correct. Wait, no, it should be eight. <laughs> so we're going to open up the 19th here today on the Advent calendar. Let's see what it looks like and what it says. It's got a picture of Mary there today. But it says the shepherds went back to their sheep praising God, right? Well, we're going to have a look at that in just a minute. But first of all, got my boys with me today. It's early so, in the morning. And what are you eating for breakfast, Deacon? Um, garlic bread, pizza, pepperoni pizza. I mean, garlic bread, pepperoni pizza, and chicken nuggets. For breakfast? Yes, so is Joe. It must be Christmas. Uh-huh. So, so just a couple of questions for you, right? Mm -hmm. Personal questions about you. If we were to put your name on a paper and write next to it some of the things about you, what would we, what would we learn? First of all, for example, do you sing in tune or out of tune? In tune. When you sneeze, do you slightly enjoy it? Kinda. Come to you in a minute. Kinda. Do you wear glasses or not? No. Do you wear black t-shirts ever? Sometimes. When you're really happy, how would we know it? I'd have a massive smile on my face. Yes. Anything else? I'd be acting excited. Right. Okay. Thank you. Let's come over to Ho Ho. Oh, hang on. All right, dude. Yeah. Good morning. What are you eating for breakfast? Same as Deacon. What? On Christmas? Pizza and chicken nuggets. Pizza, chicken nuggets? And why? <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to make cereal. Right. Where did you get the pizza, chicken nuggets and garlic bread from? The fridge. The fridge? That's not quite what I meant. That's not quite what I meant. Where did it come from? Nana bought the pizza. Right. And Simon bought the chicken nuggets. Right, you had some from your party last night. Was that good fun? Now, let's find out something about you. Um, let's see, if you put Joseph on a piece of paper... <coughs> Um, what would we write next to it? Are you good at maths or not? A little bit. A little right. bit good at maths. Okay. Can you play a musical instrument? Mm -hmm. What can you play? Guitar. Right. Any good on drums? All right. You are. You're more than all right. Okay. If I was to line up a pork sausage, a beef sausage, or a pepperami, and you can only choose one, which would you choose? Um... Pepperoni. Yes. How about a, how about one of those bad boys? You'd have a pork one, would you, Deacon? Not bad boy. The I ones that are really hot. Ones. How about one of them? Do you like spicy food? So we found out a little bit about you, right? Well, the shepherds, as we talked about yesterday, when they had found Jesus and gone and visited him, he went off. They went off, I should say, um, telling everybody about what they had seen and heard, right? But then they did something else. Right. And and we're going to be joined by someone else here real quick as well, at least in the story, which is whoopsie, which is Mary. Just drop my Bible. Oh, dear. Where's it gone? Hold on one sec. We've got to get her back to Luke chapter two. Here it is. So all of this stuff had happened, right? The shepherds had come and Mary had gone with Joseph to Bethlehem and so on. And the baby Jesus had been born. She'd been visited by an angel, all of those things. And it says this. In verse 19 of Luke chapter 2. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds, though, they went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. Guys, so there are two different ways here to acknowledge what God has done. The first one was what Mary did. She kept all of these things in her heart and she thought about them and she pondered them. It must have been an amazing thing to replay back in her mind some of these amazing things that had happened to her in the previous year. And then we look at the shepherds who come and see the baby Jesus and it says that they returned to their sheep praising God. Now, we don't know exactly how they did that, whether they were just like in silence and just pondering and just talking to God or whether they were like whoop whoop whooping or they were shouting together or singing songs or whatever we don't really know they might have just been mega high-fiving each other like all day who knows and having I don't know like a party buffet in the evening to celebrate it but either way both of these guys Mary and the group of shepherds were contemplating what God had done and praising him for it how important is it that you and I praise God for what he's done 
I know in our family, we're constantly talking about how good God has been to us and that we need to give him thanks and praise. And not just that, but we need to tell others about his goodness too. Let's think about that today. Let's pray. God, as we think again about the fact that you sent Jesus to earth, we know that that is amazing news because it's changed our lives. And we pray that we will praise you and glorify you and give thanks to you, not just in our own hearts and just think on these things, but also praise out loud and tell others of the great things that you have done so that they can know you too. We thank you for who you are and everything you've done. And we're all individuals and we praise you in different ways. We have different characteristics. We have different talents. Some of us are loud. Some of us are are noisy. Some of us are very quiet. Some of us are borderline silent. Whichever we are today, we thank you that we've been individually made. And whichever way we praise you, we're going to praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you guys. We love you, but... Jesus loves you more. No, not loves you more. No. Loves no, it is more, but there's, you're missing. Even, you're missing. More. Even more. I didn't hear you, Joseph. I think you need to speak up a bit. We all know you're one of the quietest in the no, family. You just said a prayer about that. What? What? Said a prayer about what? That's what I just said. We know that you're the noisiest in the family, but I didn't hear you this time. Have a great day, everyone.